in a complementary study of WR 140. Published in Nature Astronomy. October 12, 2022. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Examining much deeper into the abyss. Was able to snap an incredible image of not just one. But 20 accelerating dust plumes. Nested inside each other like a giant set of onion skins. WR 140 is comprised of a huge wolf ray at star and an even bigger blue supergiant, gravitationally bound in an eight year orbit. This binary star system in the Cygnus constellation has been monitored for two decades with one of the world's largest optical telescopes at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. WR 140 episodically puffs out plumes of dust, stretching thousands of times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. These dust plumes produced every eight years, give astronomers a unique opportunity to observe how starlight can affect matter. It's known that light carries momentum, exerting a push on matter known as radiation pressure. Astronomers often witness the outcome of this phenomenon in the form of matter coasting at high speed around the cosmos, but it's been a difficult process to catch in the act. Direct recording of acceleration due to forces other than gravity is rarely witnessed. And never in a stellar environment like this. It's hard to see starlight causing acceleration because the force fades with distance, and other forces quickly take over, said Yin Wu Han, from Cambridge's Institute of Astronomy, first author of the Nature paper. To witness acceleration at the level that it becomes measurable, the material needs to be reasonably close to the star or the source of the radiation pressure needs to be extra strong. WR-140 is a binary star system whose ferocious radiation field supercharges these effects, placing them within reach of our high-precision data. All stars generate stellar winds. But those from wolf rayet stars can be more like a stellar hurricane. Elements such as carbon in the wind condense out as soot, which remains hot enough to glow bright in the infrared. Like smoke in the wind, this gives telescopes something that can be observed. The team used an imaging technology known as interferometry, which was able to act like a zoom lens for the 10-meter Keck telescope mirror, enabling the researchers to recover sufficiently sharp images of WR140 for the study. Han and his team found that the dust does not stream out from the star with the wind. Instead, the dust forms where the winds from the two stars collide, on the surface of a cone-shaped shock front, between them. Because, the orbiting binary star is in constant motion, the shock front also rotates. The sooty plume gets wrapped into a spiral, in the same way that droplets form a spiral in a garden sprinkler. The researchers also found that WR140 has other tricks up its sleeve. The two stars are not on circular but rather elliptical orbits, and dust production turns on and off as the binary nears and departs the point of closest approach. By modeling these effects into the three-dimensional geometry of the dust plume, the astronomers were able to measure the location of dust features in three-dimensional space. Like clockwork, the star puffs out sculpted smoke rings every eight years, with all its wonderful physics written on them inflated in the wind, like a banner for us to read, said Professor Tuttle. Eight years later as the binary returns in its orbit, another appears the same as the one before, streaming out into space inside the bubble of the previous one. Like a set of giant nested Russian dolls. Because the dust produced by this wolf ray it is so predictable and expands to such large distances, it offered the astronomers a unique laboratory to examine the acceleration zone. In the absence of external forces, each dust spiral should expand at a constant speed. We were puzzled at first because we could not get our model to fit the observations, until we finally realized that the data did not fit because the expansion speed wasn't constant, but rather was accelerating. An extremely rare phenomenon caught for the very first time on camera. In one sense, we always knew this must be the reason for the outflow, but I never dreamed we'd be able to see the physics at work like this, said Peter Tuttle. When I look at the data now, 
I see WR 140's plume unfurling like a giant sail made of dust. When it catches the photon wind streaming from the star, like a eagle catching a gust, it makes a sudden leap forward. With JWST now in operation, researchers can learn much more about WR 140 and similar systems. The James Webb Space Telescope offers new extremes of stability and sensitivity, said Professor Lau, who led the JWST study. We'll now be able to make observations like this much more easily than we could from the ground, opening a new window into the world of Wolf Ray at Physics. Please like share and subscribe for more great content Happy Days News. For more brilliant stories like this one or more information regarding the research visit happydays.io. Thank you for listening. Stay informed and stay happy. Happy Days.